Hey, this is Toe 2 Bravo and we're at the range again. Uh, today, I brought out a, another uh, Palmetto State Armory AR. Actually, this isn't a Frankenstein build today. This is an actual uh, Palmetto State Armory lower and upper. Um, today, we'll be testing the accuracy on the Palmetto State Armory 5.56 NATO 1 and 6. nitride freedom barrel so we'll see what kind of accuracy we get out of that same as uh, last time uh, we will be shooting at all the perimeter diamonds uh, today we'll be doing uh, reverse order today we'll be starting with the American Eagle 223 55 grain green box ammunition that you can get at Walmart and uh, enough talk here we go All right, the last three. American Eagle. CQI 62 grain 556. Five, Here we go. I ran down the range. Here we go. Last three rounds for the ZQI. All right, let's look at our targets. Target number one, ZQI, one, two, and three measured a 2.11. The American Eagle, one, two, and three measured a 3.36. Second target, 
Uh, ZQI measured 1, 2, 3, a 1.49. And the American Eagle, 1, 2, and 3 measured a 2.11. Next target. Uh, ZQI, 1, 2, and 3 measured a 1.53. And the American Eagle, totally shit the bed. 1, 2, and 3 measuring 5.53. And then the final target, ZQI 1, 2, and 3, measuring 3.60. And, I'm sorry, yeah, the ZQI. And then the American Eagle 1, 2, and 3, measuring a 3.95. So, today's shooting with the Palmetto State Armory Freedom Nitride Barrel 1 and 7 Twist. Uh, the ZQI average that I got today was 2.18 inches. And the American Eagle 55 grain ammunition average was 3.73. Now previously, uh, on the previous video, I'm sorry, uh, the premium upper, 1 and 7, uh, the averages, I didn't do the math on the day of the shoot, but today I have them figured out. The averages uh, for the American Eagle with the premium upper uh, came out to 1.54 inches with the American Eagle and the ZQI was 2.02 .02 inches. So the premium upper, much more accurate obviously with the same ammunition compared to the Freedom upper. Uh, so interesting results. Hopefully you guys find it as interesting as I do. Kind of surprising. Uh, I thought the nitrided barrel would have done a little better with this ammunition. Perhaps I'll revisit this uh, on another day with uh, some heavier grain ammunition. Uh, just one more thing to cover that I didn't cover earlier on the introduction is today we ran a Simmons ATEC 2.8 by 10 power scope. Our charging handle was a BCM large. Everything else I covered at the beginning of the video. Um, hopefully uh, you found this video informative. Uh, if not, the comments will reflect. And uh, hey, this is Toto Bravo. And uh, I will see you at the range again.